So the central issue is the way can you break down those little gems of calcium carbonate in the internal ear to dispose of dizziness. That is a subject for today. And I will make sense of this without utilizing any clinical technical terms to make it truly straightforward. The large issue with dizziness is, yes, you will feel like you're turning. However, you can likewise have this, a uh, queasy inclination, feeling wiped out. So it tends to very obliterate. A ton of individuals have this condition, and they go to the specialist and they could do medical procedure. They could do practices which are incredible. However, at that point, the inquiry is the ticket. Do you dispose of these precious stones? So they try not to return? And chiefly, what's causing this dizziness much of the time is this little calcium gem off base. Some portion of the ear they're drifting near. Also, they will intrude on the correspondence between the hairs, the nerves, that go into the ear, into your mind. And this will influence your balance, your capacity to feel like you're stable in face. Thus, what is happening here? It is absolutely common to have these precious stones in the ear, yet they ought to typically exist in one more piece of the ear. And this is the very thing I need to make sense of. So, in this first compartment of the internal ear, you have these calcium precious stones on top of a film, which is essentially a layer of gel, and under that you have these infinitesimal hairs that are then associated with nerves that go to your cerebrum. Thus, what is the reason for these little loads? They're like nearly nothing. Paper loads? Well, the design is to add mass to the gel, and by adding mass or weight to this gel, you will get greater responsiveness to the hairs, and that awareness is going to connect with gravity ready of the hairs. Thus, your body has impeccably planned this, a uh, intriguing structure where you have this sort of gel, with a sort of a paper weight on top to permit a component to know without any problem where you are in space. And you have about generally around 1,000 of these precious stones per ear. Yet what's not typical is the point at which they sort of get ousted and go further down the waterway into one more piece of the ear where they will make issues. So these calcium precious stones are drifting through this lymph liquid and in a typical sound individual, that lymph has an exceptionally low convergence of calcium. And regularly, you ought to have the option to reabsorb that calcium in the span of 20 hours. Anyway, there are reason motivations behind why this calcium probably won't break up exceptionally quick. And that is what I need to discuss now. Currently, number one, you could have head injury that can container a portion of these little paper loads into some unacceptable piece of the ear. You can have a contamination that does it. There are additionally certain meds that can likewise cause this issue. And afterward, you have age. Simply aging can cause this issue in light of the fact that as you age, you start losing these calcium precious stones and end up in the center ear. Anyway, I discovered some extra data that will pretty much address each and every one of these conditions. Presently, they've done testing on this and they discovered some fascinating connections between skin that have dizziness. Those individuals have higher convergences of calcium in the lymph, so assuming you have higher focuses, you won't disintegrate it anywhere close to as quick, if by any means. And there's some extra affiliations that I need to. Notice one major one is this higher relationship between individuals with osteoporosis. Also, dizziness. Now, what is up with that? Well, we have one subject, calcium. When individuals have osteoporosis, they have a great deal of development in calcium in the delicate tissues, and individuals with dizziness likewise have a higher convergence of calcium in the lymph. So what is the key supplement that you want to take to restore this calcium? That supplement is vitamin D. Contemplate what vitamin D does in your small digestive tract. It assists you with engrossing calcium by an element of 20 tx and afterward i additionally viewed that as individuals that have dizziness uh have a propensity to have low vitamin d levels in truth the majority of the populace has low vitamin d levels particularly as we age so this is the very thing i will suggest 
negligibly 10,000 IUs, yet I would suggest 20,000 I utilization of vitamin D for this issue. Now, I would likewise suggest continuously taking nutrient K2 with nutrient D3. Yet in addition, addition, I strongly suggest ensuring you in every case generally take vitamin D with magnesium. Since vitamin D won't work without magnesium, and magnesium to normally counters calcium development. Yet meanwhile, you presumably need to do these activities to push the calcium from the channels into one more piece of the ear to forestall your dizziness. And for that data, watch this video here.